In February 2011, our 7th grade took a field trip to Karat. There, I noticed how different their lifestyles were from us and that their quality of life was not as great as ours, but they're still very happy. This is what my video is about. Walking around the vast fields and roads of Karat, you probably won't find any places like McDonald's or five-star restaurants. Instead, there are farms full of fresh food and eager vendors selling fresh coriander, chili, tomatoes, and spicy bowls of noodles for you. Work here is varied from owning and working at a convenience store or vending cart, carrying on the tradition of dance as a dancer, or making pottery. All these jobs will not provide a steady pay for a family, but it will give them enough for necessities. These jobs don't require a high amount of education, so you can probably see what the amount of education is around here in Korat. Rice is the biggest food staple for Thailand. When we traveled around Karat, we saw endless fields of lush grain and golden rice. There are many methods to grow rice. When we were in Karat, we saw transplanting. Transplanting is a method of growing rice. They grow the seeds first somewhere else, then when the seeds are big enough, they bring them over to a vaster field with more room to grow and mature. When you think about having a good quality of life, normally you would think of somebody sitting in the corner lurking by themselves. Well, the people in Korat don't lack in community or friendship. There are children, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, grandparents, all gathered, talking, laughing, and working. Transportation in Korat is simple and easy. Going to the market, Bicycles, doing work around town, truck. Need a ride home, tuk tuk. Their transportation doesn't seem to be limited at all here. Thank you for watching.